Our market monitor tonight is expecting a 5 to 10 percent in correction in the markets this summer, and he views it as healthy. And he says investors should buy stocks when and if it happens. He's Phil Orlando, chief equity strategist at Federated Investors. Phil, welcome. Good to have you with us. Tyler, We're certainly due for a correction. What could trigger it? Well, Tyler, you've got uh, Treasury yields and, and stock prices that are both uh, overbought here. The VIX, you talked about that before, is sitting down here at, uh, at a cycle low. Uh, so you're certainly poised for any bad news, and if that were to happen, certainly we could see uh, a modest summer hiccup. But again, if that were to happen, we would use that as a buying opportunity. There were reports earlier this week that the Fed is concerned about um, complacency in the market. Uh, the low VIX would suggest that people are a little bit complacent. There's not a lot of hedging going on or whatever. Uh, are you concerned that investors have grown complacent, that the, that the glide path has been a little too smooth after last year's big run-up? Certainly. There are a lot of fundamental concerns in the marketplace uh, from an economic standpoint as to whether or not the second half bounce is going to be as good as the second quarter. Uh, you've got a lot of geopolitical risk issues uh, in the Middle East and, and certainly concerns about the Fed, how they uh, transition monetary policy uh, in, the, uh, in the wake of uh, going from Bernanke to Yellen. So there are certain Certainly any number of things that could uh, could pop up over the course of the summer. Let's uh, go to your buy list if that uh, correction does eventuate. It's led by Alaska Air. Why do you like it? Well, the, uh, the airline companies have uh, found religion. Uh, they uh, have rationalized pricing and capacity. This company is very well managed. It has a very differentiated root structure. Stock's done well, but we think we could do another 10 percent or so, 15 percent or so in the next year or so. And uh, Boeing, uh, which is obviously related to the airlines, uh, but in a different, a different way, uh, you like it? Well, you've got uh, about a four-year backlog on that new 787 plane, which is extraordinarily uh, fuel efficient. So as, as the airlines continue to make money and look to upgrade their fleet uh, with better technology, better fuel efficiency, uh, this plane is getting a disproportionate amount of interest. And as I said, they've got a four-year backlog on, on orders. Well, we started with an A. We went to a B. Now we're going to go to an H, Home Depot. That sounds like a play on the consumer and housing economy. Well, the consumer is back. Uh, Christmas, it was the worst Christmas uh, since 2009. But Easter was pretty good. Uh, the weather is rebounding, so you're going to get some uh, better lawn and garden sales. And we do think that... Uh, Housing is going to make a modest recovery here. We do not think that the housing market is dead. Uh, the depot has been going sideways for the last year or so. Uh, we think the stock will work higher as those trends begin to materialize. What about interest rates, Phil? You know, the Fed is probably going to end up, uh, end its uh, buying of bonds sometime later this year. Interest rates might start to move up. Is that a threat to the uh, market? Uh, not at all, because the normalization of uh, the Fed funds rate, which we think will start the middle of next year, the end of the taper, which we think will happen by the end of this year, the market should embrace that as a positive. The Fed would not be normalizing monetary policy unless they were completely comfortable that the economy is, is sufficient to uh, be able to operate on its own without this extraordinary support of monetary policy. I would think that they're going to wait and see on interest rates and be very data-driven about that. And there's no obligation that they have to raise interest rates, is there? And that's exactly the right term, data dependency. The Fed is going to evaluate the data. Uh, it's probably going to be a year before they take this step. Uh, and if the data over the course of the next year does not support it, and by that I mean we're looking at trend line or better GDP growth, you know, that 3 to 3.5% 3 level. Uh, we want to see job creation continue at this, you know, 200,000-plus pace over the course of the next year, consumer spending strong, manufacturing strong. If those components are not there, uh, then we don't expect that the Fed is going to commence uh, a tightening of monetary policy. Uh, Phil, any disclosures on Alaska, Boeing, or Home Depot? Uh, we own all of those stocks in the Federated Global Allocation Fund. All right, Phil, thank you very much. Always good to see you. Thanks for having me. Phil Orlando with Federated.